Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. In today's video, we are going to understand, you know, how will be the job market for Tableau in 2026? What are the skill sets that we need to understand? And, you know, along with that, we'll also see why Tableau will matter in 2026. So BI is a very niche skill that every organization needs today. And among them, Tableau and Power BI, these two are the market leaders. So you will always find opportunities related to Tableau and Power BI in industry. And Tableau remains, you know, one of the most requested, you know, tool in the industry because of the flexibility that it offers. So I understand there are some concerns related to that. If I speak honestly, maybe cost wise, you know, it is very high compared to power ba and because of that you know i agree uh, that you know a lot of clients we are moving so if you feel so do let me know in the comment section you know why there is a decrease in job compared to power ba so the only aspect that i see is because of the cost and because microsoft has got the huge uh, user base that is giving its leverage and people are starting adapting but it power bi has its own limitations has its own thing but tableau is a premium product understand okay so in market if you go you have video and you also have a premium product that you can think of okay so it's something like that so you prefer a client will prefer mostly like what is reasonable for them so that is why some clients prefer this but if some clients are very interested that they need only good tool which can handle large volume and all and a good visualization good interactivity then you will see they are sticking to tableau so and no doubt you know tableau is also evolving more in ai space Okay, so you will see a lot of opportunities coming in this space. And it has also acquired Informatica. So, you know, expect that, you know, the user base Tableau has as of now, it will increase a lot in coming days. So that's my take. So you can add your comments in the comment section. So that's about, you know, uh, why Tableau will matter as of now. And so what are the salaries that we are expecting uh, or what is the salary trend at least that I have seen in uh, 2025? So maybe for freshers, we are getting somewhere around three to you know, five LPS we are getting and experience I have seen like say mid experience if I see we are getting uh, six to 15 and uh, if they are seniors I have seen more than 20, 20 plus I have seen. So many subscribers from our channel have landed a job on tableau with more than 20 lpa uh, uh, to be specific i i mean three uh, three users have reached to, reached out to me uh, in 2025 that you know they have placed more than this okay so if you are good in sql you, you are good in ba then you know expect that you know you get a good handsome package in tableau okay so salaries definitely you know they will be paying all you need to no is you know you, you need to prepare well and 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 answer well in the interview so what are the roles that we we, we are seeing in the market right roles so one is tableau developer obviously that is the most preferred thing then bi developer opportunities you are seeing or data analyst roles you are seeing in the market or tableau consultant so these are something that we are observing a lot in the a lot as a roles so when you go to Naukuri or when you go to Indeed, these are some things, keywords that you can try searching for and you know, and apply whatever the jobs that you're finding. So Tableau developer is a very sp specific keyword that you're trying to search for and it will only give you opportunities related to Tableau. So industry is looking more for candidates who have got multi-skills. Like say they are aware of Tableau, they are aware of a Power BI or any other BA tool. So if you are aware, then you will have a better chance compared to other candidates because they want candidates who are working on multiple skills. So that is why BA developer is one generic term that you will see in Indeed that will have opportunities. Again, a more, more common term that we see uh, for junior level is a data analyst. So data analyst means it is always, you know, work on Excel plus you know, some uh, SQL plus some BA tool. It can be any BA tool. So that uh, is a data consultant, a data analyst role. Next is Tableau consultant role. Again, it is a specific role uh, related to Tableau. 
so i, I would say it is more uh, more about uh, the niche uh, tableau uh, skill that you have so what are the skills that are in demand on tableau and what are the skills that we need to be aware or upskill for ourselves one is learn about advanced tableau first of all okay because basic tableau anyone can do these days right so we need to be advanced like say you know you need to be uh, uh, you need to know all the use cases or major use cases with respect to lod i have seen still skill uh, still there is uh, a skill set a demand with respect to lod do let me know if you need a specific video on lods uh, people or users still face a trouble in uh, writing lod or understanding lod and then actions and parameters actions again are very important you can do a lot using actions we have set actions and parameter actions to be specific you can play a lot with that filter actions url actions these are generic actions that are coming from a very long time and then we have parameter use cases these are something that you need to be aware and you need to practice a lot so the more a practice that you do the more scenarios that you are aware you are working in tableau as a developer will become easy job next is we want candidates who have strong sql okay so this knowledge that you have on sql will never go waste so try to you know keep learning or keep upskilling on tableau as much as possible okay so when you go into a bi developer role or any senior role specifically if you're trying to go this is the first knowledge you know the interviewer will test you okay and if you are good here you can land a very good job in a very good company with a good package okay so again i'm seeing some gap here and there will always be this gap in sql okay so try to be a good sql candidate ba candidates you will find a lot okay so focus your primary focus should always be on sql next is you know we want some hands on on cloud platforms so you can always add a snowflake or aws to your tech stack so that you know your profile is getting updated your profile is getting shortlisted and you know it it is getting absorbed because in today's world we want candidates who have cloud knowledge okay so you can use a cloud based whatever the applications that you are or you want to aware I have some domain expertise you know so choose one domain like say you want to be an expert in healthcare you want to be an expert in finance or you want to be an expert in banking so to choose one domain and try to go you know end to end in that what are the common terms that you have in that specific healthcare and what are the kpis that you use how will be the data what is the most preferred thing so that kind of knowledge you need to have on the domain that you are choosing so try to use ai applications that are available in the market and try to do a research and then put your project that will help you a lot most of the time what i have observed is you know people come and they prepare one project on banking finance and all but when i ask something a background on that particular thing then they will not be able to answer so don't be that kind of minimum guy okay when you are keeping something related to healthcare or you are putting something related to finance have a thorough background so that you know if any questions that you are getting you will be able to answer okay so next is storytelling okay try to create some dashboard so that you know you can have a good compelling storytelling right because dashboard creation is always related to number of dashboards that you have created in real time i know not all of might have experience of creating dashboards you know take inspiration from tableau public you know you have we have so many dashboards in there try to replicate them as a starting point right so that is when you'll get different ideas how we can you know place kpis how we can place metrics and all and then based on that you can take decisions okay so the more dashboards that you create the better you will be in a position or in a better position you will be so that is about the skills that are in demand okay and roles we have seen and salaries we understood next is you know how is that trend is shaping up we will see like as we have seen uh, in 2025 and how will it be in 2026 so always bi we we know that is what we have been doing till now right now ba plus ai right so we need to understand how ai is evolving in a bi space we need to understand how 
our existing tools are bringing in AI capabilities into them so that we can leverage. So you need to understand that. So we, and like I said, multi-stacking, we need to be aware of multiple tools, like say Tableau plus Power BI, add these two to your tech stack so that you know how they work. Next is cloud deployments, cloud BI deployments. So this is the trend that you need to be aware and you know you need to take care, you need to learn, you need to evolve. Okay, AI, we cannot ignore even if you want, right? So it is you know involving in every day-to-day -day activity of us. So we need to learn. Tableau is also bringing up AI capabilities into that. Agent Force is there, Tableau Pulse is there. So you need to start using these applications. You need to start understanding how the metrics are shaping up. So that is when we'll stay ahead of others. Okay, so Tableau developer, everyone is doing today. What is the other thing that you're doing? What are the other extra thing that you have explored? Even though your project does not have scope, right? We need to learn, we need to explore and we need to learn. Do let me know if you need any video on this. I think I've created a video on, on agent force. You can try to see how that is working. It is a very advanced tool that is that a Tableau has brought in. Now, how we can showcase ourselves or how we can position ourselves to get shortlisted. One is, you know, have good dashboards on Tableau platform. So in today's world, you are good or bad does not matter. So there is a saying in Hindi, jo dikta hai, wohi bikta hai. You know, comment uh, if you know this statement, right? We have seen so many, you know, influences uh, on Instagram, right? So we know they they are not right, but they are working just because they have got huge, uh, you know, a fan following. So they have a good visibility that they are bringing in. So their their showcase is good, right? So I want you to do that, okay? Have a good, impactful dashboards on the platform that you want to show, so that anyone who is coming and seeing those dashboards should get a feel that okay, this guy knows a lot, right? So we our channel has got less. Uh, no subscribers we all know because i don't do that thing right i only show i only do what i know i don't go uh you know, to showcase that so that's why we have very less user base one uh real time use case i'm going uh, giving you okay so but the content that we have on our channel is very genuine that you will not find anywhere that is uh, I can tell you or I can assure you. Next is highlight your domain expertise. This is very important. How we can uh, highlight our domain expertise? We can use the terminology that business is using. We can use it, what are the concepts in the industry that are working? What is that importance? What is the what is that matters to that particular domain? All that you have to you know, uh, put in it in your resume. So strengthen your SQL okay, and cloud skills. This will definitely pave path for good package and good hiring and build your linkedin linkedin is not just for applying job or just posting something build your network there the more network you have the better position you are in okay so that's about how you can position ourselves for it to land a better job in 2026 okay and what are the do's and do's uh, don'ts that we can do do's Okay, so what we need to do, we need to show business value, always talk in terms of values, always talk in terms of numbers in interviews. So that is a trend that is getting uh, you know, evolved. So always keep your profile updated. Okay, keep your profile updated. This will help knowing users or recruiters that you are currently looking in and these are your current skill sets. Okay, rely, don't rely on basic charts okay so try to create some charts that are not in show me try to create some advanced charts see how it can answer business uh, uh, you know needs and that you can talk definitely in an interview and don't ignore ba trends so this you if you are if you ignore you will stay behind okay so that's about you know what we need to do and what we don't need to do in 2026 to stay ahead of the race
okay so this is how we can position ourselves in 2026 to stay ahead okay so what we learned is you know we learned you know what are the skills we need right so we learned we need tableau we need some you know uh, ai and we need some cloud this is something that we need apart from the sql thing right we need to uh, showcase our uh, dashboard creativity skills we need to showcase or build our you know, LinkedIn profile so that we have good views or good user base. Okay. And we need to show domain knowledge. So follow this, build uh, you know your network around this or build your knowledge around this. And you will see a lot of change uh, in yourself. You will see a lot of change in the profile that you have built. And you will see calls coming in and you're trying to answer. So in terms of calls and networks, do let me know what you feel. Okay. My personal feel is, you know, uh, one of my, uh, one of our subscribers attended, I think four calls from October uh, till November. Okay. All of them cleared, but uh, HRs have ghosted them. So my assumption is all of the interviews that are happening these days, mostly are just for namesake. There is no, you know clear communication that there is an real time requirement it is just happening for the sake okay so do let me know what you feel and that's it from my side in this video i hope you have learned something if it does don't forget to share your valuable feedback see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day